welcome back to my channel. So today I thought since I moved into a new apartment two months ago, I just show you around my apartment in Seoul. So some background information, I was living in Gangnam because I was working in that area and I don't really like that area. So I moved over to like the west end of Seoul and I'm really close to the train station. There's a ton of night buses in this area and I'm so close to Hongdae so I love living here so much. My house is not provided by a school or hagwon because I'm not working right now. I paid about 5 million key deposit and 650 monthly for this home. It can be a little bit expensive in Korea. Like for example, when I was living in Daejeon, my home was actually much bigger than this. And I paid the same key deposit. 5 million but I only paid 410 a month which was pretty much covered by my housing allowance as an English teacher. So if you're interested in my Daejeon home I'll put a link below so you can check that out too. Okay so my home here in Seoul is a little bit more expensive if you're an English teacher on a housing allowance. You could move into a house like mine but you're gonna have to pay the difference in the allowance and your rent. If you're also interested in moving from your school's provided housing into your own apartment, just put a comment down below. If enough people are interested, maybe I'll make a video later about the steps to doing that and like differences in America and Korea. Okay, so anyway, I don't want to bore you too much with a bunch of useless talking. So let's go check out my house. Okay, I first want to show, start by showing you my living room area. So I have my couch over here and like some origami on the wall. That's my boiler room over there. And I have this huge window. And that's the aircon up there. And it overlooks like a high school. So actually the, you, you can't see too well because the sunlight right now is so bright. But it overlooks like a high school field. Okay, and okay, I've got cute little stuff here. Like stuff for getting ready. I've got like a clock radio, pictures of my family, and some cactuses and stuff. Oh, hi! Okay, and like boxes and stuff. And over here is my desk. I like to keep it pretty simple. I love this chair, it's so comfortable. I got it on G Market for $20. Okay, some posters and stuff up on the wall. Okay, here is the TV. Um, it came with the apartment and my computer and random stuff that I store there, my fan. I've got my bookshelf full of random stuff. And my kitchen space is really nice. So in my kitchen I have like all of this counter space and I love it. The thing is a little small but it's so nice and there's like all these cupboards like here and these are all cupboards even all the way up there are cupboards too and here's my washer which is really freaking nice because in Korea you usually don't have a dryer which I do it's great and some more cabinets and stuff okay over here is kind of my kitchen hallway area this is actually the microwave so you can actually look in my microwave and over here is actually the fridge okay I'll back up so you can see but like that's the fridge there and that's the freezer okay so it's like totally hidden away I love it and next over here is my wardrobe Okay, but I don't know if you can see, it's so narrow um, that I couldn't fit all of my clothes. So I have this over here, a clothing rack that I bought because this was some cute Pokemon. Because essentially I needed more space. Over here, it's just like shoe area. There's a shoe cupboard over here. Like, I think it's really dark in here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Don't think you can see it too well, but that's where my shoes go. Next to the clothes rack and everything is the bathroom. So like, you gotta wear your 
slippers. To go in the bathroom. And like toilet. I've got cabinet. Okay. Which opens up. And lots of fun stuff. And this is pretty much the shower space. So there's this big shower head up here. And this one there. I use this one. Okay, blah blah blahs. And I have a giant mirror. Okay, anyway. And I have a squeegee. Because <laughs> I like to squeegee the mirrors. Anyway. And there's like a nice little hook to hang the towels. Also, like it's a sliding door. Okay. And one last thing that's so nice about my apartment is this. I press this. And it flushes. So there's like bidet settings and heating settings too. So like in the winter, this whole toilet seat could be warm and my butt would be toasty. So another cool thing about my apartment is like there's all these control settings. Well, these are just lights. Like, and this is to turn the heat on and off. This is for air conditioning. And this is so cool. So when someone comes to my home, they will ring a doorbell outside and then I press a button to let them in. And another thing you can do is over here, this is the view from my apartment. Like this is the hallway, across, like, and this is the door across the hall from me. Um, when someone comes to like deliver something or whatever, this will pop up for the front door too, and this means open the door. And so literally when they come, I can press this button and open the door for them. No. Or like I could press this button and I can actually talk to them when they're at the front door too. Like what are you doing? Why are you here? Okay, and the last thing is the stairs up to the top floor. Okay, so bum, 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 bum. Okay, I should have turned the light on. It's a little dark up here. This is essentially where I sleep. And then I just have like clothes and cabinets. I have a few more cabinets over here. I'm just storing luggage and stuff. And just a few round things. And this is the view from above of my whole apartment. Okay everyone, that was my apartment tour. I hope you enjoyed watching. So if you have any questions about living in Korea, please comment below, hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.